Good afternoon, good evening, we're just back out again today because I love it. Oh, it's a glorious one today. It is glorious. There's not a cloud in the sky. The birds are chirping away. And the sun is burning me eyes. Um, <laughs> well, today I'm actually on a bit of freshly rolled bit of muddage. Is muddage a word? Nah, we're going to use that muddage. Today I'm on some freshly rolled bit of muddage. Stepping on the field as well, I come across this. Uh, so it's glass, but it's not like a bottle shape. It's like, I don't know. Right, that's the first, what is this, of the quote of the day. Um, I am going to include, probably at the very beginning here, I was out the other day on my favourite bit of land. I say favourite bit of land, favourite type of land. A bit of pasture. Mmm. I do like a bit of pasture, you know. Got a flavour for it. I'm not a great fan of uh, the muddy stuff, especially when it's fluffy like it is today. But we're going to see what comes up today. Hopefully something decent. A bit of silver popped up on the pasture. Mm. Mm, we like that, don't we? Uh, let's see if we can do that today on the muddy stuff. Without further ado, and with the less of the gassing, less of the talking, less commenting about his teeth. Off a trot, let's get to it. Right, and gentlemen, my first decent signal on the pasture. Uh, a round piece of lead, possibly an old token. Any details and stuff on it? Or is it just a bit of flatness? It's just a bit of a flat disc of lead. Possibly could have been some sort of farm token. But we don't know. We weren't there when this was given out. We don't know what it could have been. Can't see any markings on it. So yeah, just a bit of lead. Right, fill in the hole. Oh, the ground is solid today. Anyway. Off the drop. I just flopped open the clod. Signal's still in there, so I dug it in a bit deeper. Plopped it open. Look like a coin. It's not like a bad nick coin either. That's why I like the pasture. Uh, looks like. It's going to look like our present queen, but I think it's a George II. Check the rim. Yep, split rim. Yeah, man. <laughs> Oh, see, I like finding the older stuff. I cleaned up nice, that one. Look at that. Right. First coin of the day. It's an old one. Oh, is there any silver around? Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with this. Let's crack on. All right. I'm going to do a bit of a live one here. That's where I just had the Georgia second. And I've got a 29. Nice little tight 29. There, so I'm going to try a live one, but the ground is very flinty, so please forgive me. It does sound too nice not to do a live dig. It sounds very tight and clean. I want to be a bit of shrapnel or something. Excuse the messy clod, I'm trying to do a live. Right, nothing obvious sticking out. Nothing obvious. <laughs> oh, you can't make it up. I called it. It's shrapnel. Right, let's crack on. All right, I'm on to my next coin. It's a square one. It's made of brick. No, I'm joking, but that's um looks like a bit of a roof tile. So that there is showing good sign. There's some app. And also the coin. I'm sure the coin actually tells me it's something that's here. Um, oh my God, it's another Georgian, look. Another split edge. You know what I say? Where's Georgian? There's Amherst. So let's see if we can find any. Oh, they come up so good in here, look. They come up so good. Georgian's third. Yeah, man. He almost looks like a Roman on that, doesn't he? Right, let's crack on. Right, and gentlemen, don't usually show iron artifacts as such on this but this one's got me baffled i've almost thought horseshoe but look at the freaking size and shape of it it's 
put the pin in there, look, so that's a hammer and nail. And there's a square end and nail. It's got holes all the way through it. What on earth is that? It's a medieval boomerang. <laughs> Don't know. Definitely got holes for hammer and stuff in it, and it looks almost, I wouldn't, it's, oh, I don't know. What is that? Any ideas? Let me know in the comments below, right. Right, well, this makes no sense. It looks like a bit of a buckle, but it's made of lead. Excuse the wind noise. Need to invest in a wind mic, Mr. Grothy. Yeah. Strange one, that. Let's crack on. Yeah, the highs and lows of metal detecting. It's a gold ring. Pull. Get right. Next hole, next coin. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be uh, as in good condition. It's probably because it's older. Ah, uh, is it? Yes, that is nothing but a coaster for a small cup. Absolutely diddly diddly no details whatsoever left on it. Been eaten up by oh hello portrait. Yeah, I can't tell. I don't know if he's facing left or is she, he. Oh, bun maybe facing right. Ain't got a clue. Right, still another coin. Let's crack on. Right, nice small signal. Dug it. Looks to be silver, but how old is it? Oh, hello. Hello. Silver sixpence. Bit worn. I'm supposed to be lucky, these are. I'm happy with that. A little bit of silver shows up today. Happy with that. Sweet. Get in. All right, let's crack up. Hello, peoples. Um, <laughs> my first signal on this lovely, dry, arid, flat, rolled stuff. Uh, yeah, man, I'm definitely going to call that watch winder. It's not bad, Nick, you know. No, it's not perfect, but... That's not bad. First signal, watch winder. Like the rest of the day goes like that, I'll be happy. I'll be happy with that. Right. Let's fill in, you don't really, well you do need to fill in your holes. You need to make it look like you weren't there, but let's fill in the crevice and let's uh, put this in the pot and off we draw. Right, I don't even know if you had this before. It's a stone, right? It's a stone. Does Right, so I'll tell you why. On a close inspection, I love this stone. There's a button stuck to the bottom. <laughs> but hey, it's my first button of today. Anything decent on it? No, just one of those blank, blank ones. Oh well, let's crack on. Well, I've got my first coin on the fluffy stuff. It's been very quiet. It looks like a little farthing. Little diddy farthing that from 1917. I love that. He's got a coin on the fluffy, no silver or gold yet. Where I come? Right, ladies and gentlemen, I just had to take a phone call just so I got this up here. No idea what it is. Still in the clod. Looks like it would have been silver gilded as well, look. Absolutely no ideas. Blew my ears off, as you can imagine. Uh, it'd be very decorative. Any ideas? Let me know. Comments below. Right. Back on. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to point out my lack of digs, uh, live digs especially. Can you actually see how flinty this land actually is? In certain points, it's diggable and it's nice. Other points, it is lit. How do even crops survive on this? It's absolutely mental. Just stone galore. Any relics I get up are going to be battered. Must persevere. Right. Let's crack on. Right, to set this up, I thought, oh, nice little lead button. I turned it over. I don't think it is. I think that's a bullet. That is it. Something perfect, flat, bush, splat. 
Yeah, so I think that's a lead bullet that's been a... It's got like a dome on it, you see. Which made me think it was a button. And I turned it around and there's no remnants of where a button would... So yeah, I'm going to call that a bullet. That's had a bloody good hard hit. Right, in the pot. Full of meal. <laughs> Let's crack on. Getting fed up of these now. Only slightly. <laughs> that was right down there. Banging signal. Oh, another bloody mortar fin. Oh well. Let's crack on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on to the obligatory musket ball of the hunt. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a musket ball. Big old shackle. Yeah, don't call it musket ball. It's a bit big for a pistol ball. But another bit of lead for the bag, all right? Just fill in the hole. And let's uh, mosey on down to the next. How many times that happen? You dig a clod, you go over with your coil, and it's gone. Absolutely, there's no signal there. Absolutely nothing. And then you look at your spade and you think, oh, 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 hello, oh, hello, oh, hello. And it's stuck to the end of your spade. It's a uh, Georgian, no, is it? Oh, it's an old one. Oh, is it? Ooh, it's an old one. I'm going to say Georgian, isn't it? You know what I say? It's Georgian, it's amorous. Yeah, it's a bit toasted. But I'll take it, another coin for the pot. Happy with that. And look, I've even got the imprint still on the spade. Diggle, diggle. We're not far, we just had that coin up. Got this bit here. It's a tack of some description. Uh, that's all it is. Or it could be a mushroom. Medieval drawing pin. Right, put the old crack on. 90% sure. I think I'm a damaged coin. Cut off. Looking at me, dead centre. I'm going to call that hammered, but what flavour are you? Shall we have a bit of a, a wishy washy wash wish? And have a look, see. Um, yeah, let's get the toothbrush out and the squirt. We'll leave you on the clock so we don't lose you. <laughs> to me, looking like a void long cross. Oh, I see we've got the pallets around the edge, look. Um, But I don't have a monic on that. I don't know about the pellets that are on the inside. That's confusing me. Uh, I will find some, or well, I will try and ID this and get back to you. Or you'll find out now, it'll be up in one of the corners, but yeah, definitely silver hammered. Get in. Right, let's crack on. That there had to be one of the hardest extractions of my life. Look at these boulders that have come out of this hole. Absolute boulders galore. Along with all this dry mud. But at least I've got a coin out of it. <laughs> I can't complain too much. Ah, uh, looking over Georgian. As we already know, we've already had the hammered. But the Georgian is hammered. So we'll take that. And we'll try and find more of his older friends. Let's crack on. Right, just dug this hole up. I pulled an artifact out, it's in my hand. But then I had a phone call. I've been on the phone for the last 10 minutes. Uh, <laughs> like you needed to know that. It's a little tiny hinge. I think it's like both sides, like a butterfly hinge. And it's welded together with all the mud and corrosion. But yeah, that's going to be my something lock related for today. Excuse the wind noise. It's going... <laughs> Graham, invest in a wind mic. Okay, I will. I'll try my hardest, right? Let's crack on. <laughs> Follow white rabbit I'm taking potions, call me Alice Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbits watches